Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Tom and this is my new FIFA series, the manager mode, like I've been promising. And if you haven't guessed already, the team that I had picked is Chelsea FC. It's on your screen now, it's probably in the title anyway. So, by popular demand, I had to pick Chelsea. And I uh, hope everyone's happy with that. Uh, you can't please everyone. But I tried to do the best I could. And this is the second time I've recorded this. I was like 12 minutes in and I messed the commentary up really badly. So... Uh, I was really annoyed with myself for that. So, after I'd done all the important talking, uh, I was starting to actually talk about the gameplay for once. I know I don't talk about the gameplay. But uh, I managed to do it, and like I said, I failed. So, I'm going to go on to it now. This is with Chelsea FC. The manager's name I actually picked in the end, guys, as you guys knew. I like to do it to, as tributes to people. So, the manager I picked was Jim Gannon. If you don't know who he is, he is actually uh, managed quite a few teams but uh, the one he's most notable for is Stockport County my localist team other than United so I had to pick him and I'm glad I did pick him because it, it was a lot of fun like the thought of Jim Gannon <laughs> managing Chelsea and uh, I had to make some switches straight away guys uh, I had some problems at the beginning in the pre-season because Mata was injured and people were wanting to buy matter in Czech and all sorts, so I was getting a bit annoyed. Um, the managing thing is actually really in depth, I really like it. So uh, I was really pleased with that. And this is technically the first game of the season, not counting the Charity Shield. I didn't want to show the pre season games or the Charity Shield, but for those who were bothered about seeing those, if you were, I don't know. I played Barcelona as the first one and Drew, Real Sociedad as the second and won as that one comes off the post but no worries because Ramirez slides in to get the goal uh, and after I played Real Sociedad it was City in the charity shield which I lost so uh, yeah those were the pre-season results if anyone was actually interested and uh, one thing you will notice guys is I hit the post a lot uh, every single game I've recorded so far I've recorded about five games of the season uh, I've hit the post at least once in every game uh, and I mean every game as Hazard buries that one in the bottom left corner. Nice and easy goal for Hazard. Such a class player and I'm going to be re relying on him a lot this season. So, uh, yeah, good start to the season really. Beating Sociedad and drawing with Barcelona. Uh, as we, Especially when having a load of injured players. And the game after this, uh, it was the deadline day. So I went and actually bought a couple of players. One was... And not a big name, it was just very cheap and just in case one player got injured. And the other one I'm going to keep a secret because apparently his morale was unhappy at the club. So I took advantage of that and got a very cheap deal for a great player. As that one should have been buried there, it's straight back in off the player's head and again, but it's going wide. So the reason I've actually been hitting the post so much and you might notice the movements of the players are a bit jerky is because uh, I've actually got a broken controller. My controller is broken right around the left analog stick. So it makes shooting very hard. I can never tell exactly where the analog's pointing because it's full of cracks and it moves up and down. like kind of a sound wave. Imagine that all the way around so it's never in the right place where I want it to be. So it's, it's really annoying. Uh, but it can't be helped. I will be buying a new one. And it does affect me playing FIFA a bit. And I'm not making excuses. I'm not the best player. I'm not the, yeah, I'm not the best FIFA player. I'm just okay. As, uh, as I say, that hazard makes an absolute fluff of that shot. But uh, never mind, I hit the post again anyway. And uh, it won't stop me uh, until I can get a new controller. You know, I can still just play the game and it's can, I can still play the baseball games because you don't need the left analog stick. So I'll be alright for now, but that's kind of my excuse. Um, as well as, I'm actually no good with a skill stick, guys. So I'm no KSI. If you guys came to see like me doing skills round every single player and then shooting from the goalkeeper's place or whatever as Torres gets that one easily buried goes to pick up the ball so I'm already 3-0 up and that was what I wanted to do this game I really wanted to push on the attack and really really uh, really make good first impressions because the better you do in the first games the more the board of managers tend to like you and stuff and you get extra funds and what have you so I was really going all out attack there was no way I was ever going to go on the on defensive especially against uh, especially against Wigan they're not the best team in the league uh, but they still put up a, a good fight I'm not going to lie um, so it was a good game overall I can't remember who the next game was and I won't be showing as well as not showing the preseason games guys I won't be showing the like 
other cups unless I get to the final. So I played a Capital One game and won, but uh, I didn't want to show that just because I wanted to keep this to the Premier League because with the videos being so long and my upload speed being so slow, uh, I'm r uploads aren't going to be incredibly uh, consistent and stuff. So just lengthening this series isn't going to help. I'll probably try and do at least more than half the season. So you're looking at hopefully 30 episodes, guys, or something like that. But uh, who knows? Who knows what you'll see. So now that it's taken five minutes for me to explain most of the stuff, I'm going to try and talk about the gameplay again as I did last time. I didn't do a very good job, but I managed to do it somehow. I've probably missed a load of things because I don't do my commentaries. They're not scripted in any way. I don't have notes. I just do it off the top of my head. I have a, an idea of what I want to talk about and then I like being put on the spot and testing myself. See how I could do. I'd like to be, I think I've mentioned this guy's like to be in radio. So commentating on things and, you know, working on the spot. It's kind of almost good training for it. So I still never managed to talk about the gameplay. I just like to chat. And I'm thinking of doing some Call of Duty videos just so I can actually sit down and chat about stuff and then actually have time to talk about the gameplay uh, when it comes to playing the other games so yeah that's what's going to be happening maybe see some COD COD uh, Black Ops 2 Halo 4 something like that I don't know who knows so uh, yeah gameplay time is uh, as like I said we were going on the attack so I was really using the wings I was really trying to utilize people like Mata and Hazard and Torres as Mata goes on a run there but he's already very tired as you can see but it's still worth me shooting and that's saved and no worries for Hazard even though the keeper got a hand to it he still manages to bury that one on the 41st minute I believe that says so this was an amazing start for us like really looking good for the manager Hazard manages to find a load of onside space, just buries that, actually gets knocked out of the way, it would have probably been a foul. Keeper gets a hand to it, but it still ends up in the back of the net. So I was impressed with that. And uh, do you guys want me to show full games? Because I suppose I could, it's like 18 minutes long. But uh, the 12 minutes edited down, making the uh, commentating a little bit jumpy and cutty and what have you, if I'm talking about something, then it cuts. So I don't know what you guys want to see. I could probably do. Uh, one video just uploading it and that way uh, it's, it requires me to do less editing and I can just get it recorded and uploaded now I've got to edit it down and find the interesting parts and still make it about 13 minutes I think each one that's a nice lobbed through ball going all the way to Lampard it's onto Hazard and he's easily buried actually manages to find a lot of room with Frank Lampard there he's not actually the best player I don't actually I haven't been playing him recently and he sent the keeper the wrong way leaning to his left and sent the ball to his right didn't give the keeper much chance there so uh, not looking good for uh, for Wigan as we're already 5-0 up though uh, I am very slide happy in FIFA guys I'm not gonna lie and Hazard uh, straight away after just getting a goal gets a yellow card to accompany it they're going to swing that in and we're going to get it swiftly out though it's not going to go too far and it's going to go straight back in bit worrying he turns the keeper and it's an easy tap in that was my own fault I'm not going to lie that was just poor defending but what can you do eh? what can you do that was my fault and I take full responsibility uh, obviously because I was controlling him but really I should have done better and I shouldn't have called the keeper that far out but uh, we were straight back on the attack as you can see this game was actually incredibly back and forth for the scoreline being one sided we uh, we really tried to put up a good fight against against Wigan uh, sorry yeah Wigan they really tried to put up a good fight against us and uh, we did kind of walk over them in the end in terms of scoreline but they still put up a good fight they were actually a strong passing team and I couldn't close them down because I'm very slide happy so I wasn't actually helping myself as you can see there's a lot of players sliding about we easily get to that bit of a hairy moment still though and there's going to be some substitutions now uh, just to keep my players fresh to keep the game going this is the second half uh, and well into the second half because not much interesting happened it was very back and forth from here so it didn't it didn't seem like me uh, wasting upload time just to uh, just to show that they were really pushing on the attack this half as well. I don't know if they thought they could get back into it, but David Luiz is actually fouled there. Luckily, I thought it was going the other way. Well, thankfully, uh, thankfully it wasn't. Sturridge was uh, putting a lot of effort in here, doing a lot of running about as well. <laughs> tackling not up to form just yet. I still don't like the tackling system. I, I miss the old FIFA 11 tackling system. 
as Mata loses it but gets it back swiftly. That's a through ball to Lampard. This is obviously going to hit the line. Curl it in and no, nothing comes of that. I thought it was going to be a penalty. Got a bit excited. So, no, came to nothing in the end but uh, they, they took full advantage of it. Wigan took full advantage of it and we're straight back on the attack. But we quickly counter their counter attack. Sturridge losing it, but that's a nice through ball. Sturridge has got miles of room. And I hit the post. What was I saying earlier, guys? I've already hit the post this game. But uh, that was my luck. I tried to finesse it when I should have just blasted it. But uh, that's, I guess, just being greedy. Matter on his left foot. Saved by the keeper. And then there was no return shot. That was a cracking save by the keeper. You know, Matter has got a fantastic left foot. Uh, he's very two-footed. That was a good tackle. Uh, quite lucky not to be classed as a foul as this one gets to Lampard. 77 minutes. I think Lampard wants to get on the score sheet. He tries and it's saved. Sturridge easily picks up the rebound. Should have been Lampard's goal, but uh, I'll take another goal. As, Lampard, as Sturridge gets well up for that and actually takes a head clash. If you saw that, his head was bouncing about. Go back and watch that. He actually did take a head, but apparently he wasn't injured from that. He'd probably be concussed in real life. But uh, what can you do, guys? It's FIFA, eh? Because obviously that wouldn't ever hurt. Reading really pushing on the attack here. And Czech makes a fantastic save. And I just said Reading. I meant to say Wigan. Uh, Reading was the next game, so I'm getting confused. I was trying to plan everything earlier. Uh, actually sort out kind of what schedule and what games I've actually got to play. Ivanovic taking this one and laying it off to Sturridge. Ivanovic actually becoming a central attacking midfielder at this point. Sturridge may be looking for another goal here. But I'm going to play it across the box and that's to Torres for an easy head. That was pretty much a sweaty goal, guys. I'm not going to lie, but uh, it's not online, so it's, it's somewhat acceptable. In the 85th minute, that's pretty much sealed the deal. A lovely cross from Sturridge and a smashing header from Torres really got up well to bury that and put it past the keeper so that's going to be pretty much the end of the game here guys uh, thanks for watching uh, if you did enjoy please leave a like and maybe subscribe tell me what I can do with this series what you'd like to see happen uh, anything I can improve on this one's going through to Lampard he wants to get on the score sheet and doesn't that's going to run wide and that is officially the end of the game thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next episode leave a like subscribe all that good stuff tell me what I can do uh, and I'll see you all later. Caldwell. Now the game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. First weekend of the season, a great way.